Cruzy TV. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Erica, and if you're not new, I'm glad that you're back. Today I'm gonna share with you this easy tutorial on how to make these photo foam squares. They're very easy, practical, and you can put them just about anywhere. Before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can be up to date on all of my videos. Once you're done, let's get started. You're gonna need foam tile sheets, and I'll have the link to purchase them down below. You'll need pictures, a ruler, a blade or exacto knife to cut the pictures, a sponge brush for the Mod Podge you'll be using, Mod Podge in either matte or glossy finish, an acrylic sealer spray, preferably matte, scissors in case you don't want to use this exacto knife, and command poster strips. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is choose the pictures that you want to use for your squares. I don't have a printer at home, so I had to go to my closest print shop, Quick Copy Print Shop, to have these printed out. You can also get them done at Walgreens, CVS, or Office Max. Before getting the prints done, I had already bought the 7x7 squares, so I had to cut my pictures to fit the squares since the print shop wasn't able to print my pictures in 7x7. They printed them in 8.5x11, so I had to use my X-Acto knife to cut the pictures. This is where you could also use scissors if you want. I would suggest to either choose a print shop that can print your photos in the size of your squares or buy the squares in the size of the photos that you already have. Now that these are ready, I'm gonna take my Mod Podge to glue the picture down to the square. For this part, it doesn't matter if you have matte or glossy Mod Podge since it's just to glue the picture down to the square and secure it there. I'm gonna take some Mod Podge and cover the entire square with it. I did use a bit much on this picture, so I would recommend using less Mod Podge next time. If you use a lot, you'll have clumps and your picture will get wrinkles on it and it won't look professional or smooth. Now that the entire surface of the square is covered with Mod Podge, I'm going to carefully place a picture on top of it, being careful that it is aligned. You don't want any of the black sponge part to show and then it won't look as nice. Then kind of just pat and smooth the picture down and let it dry. Now that my photos are done and dry, I'm going to take them outside and spray them with this acrylic matte finish sealer to lock everything in. I like the matte spray because it gives the picture a professional finish. Some people prefer Mod Podge, which is fine. I just don't like that you can still see the glue streaks when it dries. So I'm gonna go outside, spray them, and I'll be right back. Now that the sealer is completely dry, I'm going to take these command poster strips and put them on the back of the squares. I'm gonna put one on each side like this, but you can place them however you'd like. There are some heavy duty strips you can use if your pictures are much bigger, but these are perfect for the seven x seven squares since they're so light. There's a red side to the strips and a black side. You need to peel the red side and stick that one to the back of the square. Once you're done, you're gonna place or peel off the black sticker side and that's what you're gonna stick to the wall. So like I said, I'm gonna put one on each side, but you could put one on the top, the bottom, the center, that's up to you. Once that's done, that's all, we are done, and now let me show you how it looks on my wall. concludes my video I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope it was easy to follow and as always I enjoy making these videos for you give it a thumbs up if you liked it don't forget to follow me on Instagram at cruzy TV and I will be back with more videos bye